Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create your own color paddle inside of pretty much all of the Adobe's art programs or coloring programs that you can find out there like Adobe's Photoshop, Adobe's Fireworks, Adobe's Flash, and Adobe's Illustrator. Um, for reference today I'm going to be using Adobe's Illustrator uh, but you can use the same method in all of the the other programs it's no different so don't worry um, you, you you can notice the same similarities in this program and in Adobe's Photoshop at this, as well um, so there's two different methods of creating a color paddle um, one method is to get colors that you want so let's pick a color I'm gonna pick red and you can lay blocks down if you want or circles I like I, I recommend circles or something let's get rid of that stroke there we go and you can keep on going pick your colors and some people might wonder why would you want a color paddle um, well there's a few reasons why you would want a color paddle um, one you can well one reason you can use a color paddle for characters inside of anime cartoons or anything that you're drawing um, you know so you don't have to keep hunting down their colors all the time over and over and over so you can have you know their shirt t-shirt color right here their pants their hair whatever and whatnot so yeah that's pretty much why you would want a color paddle so I'm just picking my random colors here you would want to pick colors that you need or want and you can name these if you want so you won't forget but I'm sure you probably won't forget the colors that you're using since you're using them for whatever purpose so um, yeah so let's say this is my color paddle um, for a certain character I have colors that I like right here and I want to save them for later um, I'm gonna come here come to save as and I'm gonna to go to my desktop and you can save this as um, two different things you can save it as a JPEG if you want um, if you want something light lightweight or you can save it as an illustrator file um, I should save it as a JPEG so I can show you how you can do that because using an illustrator file it's pretty easy so you know yeah let me show you how to use a JPEG image or a ping like some people might say um, let's go to export go to desktop and let's go to export as a ping we we'll put colors there we go yeah let's leave it like that and it's saving and there we go it's a JPEG now so let's open up a another file here so I'm going to close my color palette that I just previously made now I don't want to save it so I got a new one up and now let's import this JPEG wonder okay there it is so you can use your colors in here like this all you have to do is use your eyedropper tool and you can place colors again and there you go it's that easy so use your eyedropper tool on the JPEG and you can work inside of Adobe's Illustrator just like this and here's another method um, you will want to open up notepad you can type it in your start menu and find the colors that you're using say if I want this blue right here I would copy this number right here by this hashtag copy cancel open up notepad paste the number in there and we can name this something like the color of pants you know pants and you want to do this for all the colors that you need and then once you open up your file again let's close this Let's open up another one. And I want that I want that color again, so I'm going to open this and you see it has these letters as some people like to call it. Um copy this. Come back. Paste it. 
and there you go you have your color again that's a that's a longer way to do it but if you have like a laggy computer and you can't like open up too many windows at once and do too many things then that method probably would work for you um, again this method can work inside of Adobe's Photoshop you can keep the color open up another window and you know use your your, your eyedropper tool to copy the colors and whatnot it's it's that easy so yeah I hope this has been helpful see you all later Devin the Geek up Devin the Geek land of tunes art tech and tutorials please support and follow me on twitter.com